Hey all. So um, this video is a little choppy and you're gonna see me wearing like different eye makeup and different clothing because I filmed this over the last two months um, because it, I've just changed a lot during quarantine and I wanted to show you how like I've been taking care of myself and like my different mental state throughout all of this experience in this video. And yeah, this is just kind of like a little time capsule bubble video of what's been going on with me during quarantine. So please enjoy. Costume change. Um, I had to change my clothing and put a bra on because I just realized that the clothes that I was wearing, I'd been wearing for two days. So love that. Um, but yeah, so I've drunk my coffee. We're going to start getting together and, um, you know, getting all my together and i'm gonna start by basically going uh through the hardest part of the list and just working my way down because i know that if i leave the dishes to the last thing that i have to do i'm straight up not gonna do them just because that is the culmination of all of my fury involved with my apartment right now we're gonna get to cleaning so let's jump right on in Okay, so I actually was thinking about it and to kind of flesh out this video that I'm making about kind of taking care of myself and the mindset that I've been in throughout these past... How long have we been in quarantine? 69 days of quarantine so far, um, as of the moment that I'm taping this video. Um, I've actually been keeping notes about like my mindset and what I'm doing during the day because I'm writing a graphic novel, which actually that gray book, this one, that's my graphic novel. Um, but yeah, I've been keeping track of like my thoughts and what's going on in my life. And I thought I would read out some of the like darker moments that I've been having throughout quarantine because a lot of people have been putting out this image of like, stay positive, we can do this, and that's wonderful. That helps a lot of people that can do wonders for humans that don't feel connected during this time and need a support system, but sometimes you just feel like utter trash. And um, I wrote down some of the feelings that I was feeling. I wanna be upfront about the fact that you're allowed to feel shitty during a global pandemic. And um, yeah, I just want to share some of my thoughts. So I'm going to read out the days and like put this voiceover of me talking about the crap that I've felt uh, throughout the like rest of the clips of this like cleaning montage. Cleaning montage begin. First thing that I have in my notes is from March 30th. Um, it was the 19th day of quarantine. Um, let's see. I said... I realized that I watch true crime because those people's lives are so much worse than mine and I'm desperately trying to remain calm. Um, yeah, crime shows have actually been helping me a lot coping right now because they help me process my feelings and understand and give my own situation perspective. So that's actually been really helpful, um, all things considered. Goodbye, trash pile. Now for the dreaded task of going through this container. The next thing that I have is from April 6th, which was the 26th day of quarantine. Uh, feeling stressed because I can't uh, concentrate on schoolwork. Spring break ended yesterday. Yeah, um, throughout this entire time, I've just had like a complete inability to concentrate on anything academic, which has made finishing my semester of college nearly impossible because I just cannot force myself to sit and do something that I wholeheartedly like hate in that moment. And right now I freaking hate schoolwork. Okay, so slight change of plans. Um, I need to pause cleaning and go over to my friend Sam's apartment to help her with some paperwork. So we're gonna go on a little field trip, which also means I need to get decked out in some gear. And now we're ready to go outside. April 12th, uh, the 32nd day of quarantine. I actually can't remember what's happening today. Everything is blurring together. 
a common thread. Short but sweet, a common thread. I'm back! April 17th, day 37 of quarantine. I keep waking up with this freaking deja vu feeling because every day is the same. I'm starting to have body dysphoria. I just don't feel like myself. That's something that I think all of us have been going through where you just wake up and you feel wrong. You feel like something is just off about the entire situation. And then you come to the realization, oh right, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Side note, little story time, the reason that there is paint chips in my hallway and all over the floor over here by the door is because for some unknown reason in Chicago, people paint the inside of their bathtubs with house paint. And it is complete mystery to me why they would do this. Um, every time I take a bath, the paint gets warm and flakes off of the sides of the bathtub and I've legitimately pulled off sheets of paint that are like this fucking big. I don't appreciate finding these in my hair. Let's see, April 19th, day 39 of quarantine. This one's a little bit really, really sad, so <clears throat> bear that in mind. I took a photo shoot today of myself in a long sleeve yellow shirt. I just understood why. Because of corona, these pictures are potentially the last pictures ever taken of me. If I get infected and die, people are dying every day in their homes because there are not enough hospital beds. I. Yeah, the fact that, um, if you do get sick, you're kind of fucked. Uh, yes, people are recovering, but like, they don't have adequate medical care for this virus yet. It's a complete crapshoot. And that has continued to freak me out. Uh, yeah, it, it's a constant. Hello. Uh, you are inside my closet, hence the very deadened sound of this vi this small clip of video. I am trying to figure out which kind of clothing that I'm going to wash right now because I need to do laundry. But the problem is this shirt, right? You see these little like darker gray spots? That was intentional. I did that on purpose. This light gray like wash color that you can clearly see right here. That was not intentional. That is what happens when I put light colored clothing in the washers in my building. So I can't very well wash light colored clothing that I actually have an emotional connection with. So it's sorting time, bitch. love this. I think they're giving us free laundry now because it's quarantine and so all of the quarters pop out at the bottom. So I hoped uh, English, Jesus. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I've been growing a lot. I've been trying to do good, but I also want to remind everybody that it's not all doom and gloom. I know I kind of touch on that a lot in this video, but I've actually been, you know, pretty happy throughout. I've been able to take care of myself for the first time in four years because college is very intensive and takes over your entire world. So I've gotten to take care of myself. I've gotten to make art that I love and actually like for, ev for the most part, my mental state has been pretty healthy throughout this quarantine, which is kind of weirding me out. But um, yeah, I'm doing good for the most part. And I just want to make sure that everybody knows that um, there are resources out there for you if you need food, if you need um, help with anything. There are organizations out there that are willing to help you during this time. So please don't feel like you can't ask for help during quarantine. Um, we're all here to support each other and get through this as quickly as possible. So just know that there are other humans out there that are willing to be there for you if you need it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to see more weird content like this, feel free to subscribe 
to my channel and uh, click that bell icon to get notifications about when I post videos. Um, my Insta handle, which you can follow me on social media if you want, will be linked down below. And I hope wherever you are in the world right now that you're doing okay and you're taking care of yourself. And um, yeah, good luck everybody. Mm.